Well, more caution flags are being waved by Governor Cuomo about the COVID-19 infection rate here in Western New York. Good evening, I'm Mary Ellis Demler. As of today, that infection rate is below 2%, but still the highest in the state. And that's because things have been moving in an overall upward trend over the past several days. And if things get worse, officials warned of a possible rollback of our reopening efforts. Here's two on your side's Jackie Roberts. Leaders on a state and local level are raising concerns when it comes to Western New York. We have the highest contraction rates of COVID-19, the coronavirus, in all of New York State. Dr. Thomas Russo believes we're still at a reasonably low level, but at this point, he says we don't want the situation to get any worse. We know that mass usage and physical distancing works in preventing new cases, and we just need to continue to do that. On a call with reporters, Governor Cuomo urged Western New Yorkers to take this seriously. We've seen places across the country where they reopened, they didn't do the social distancing, they didn't do the masks, the local governments didn't do the compliance, the virus went up, and then they had to scale back the economic activity. Uh, that is what you are looking at. I don't want to see these businesses get shut down. I want to see us safely open so that we can open even more, or that maybe restaurants, instead of being at 50% capacity, could go up to 60% capacity, and 75% capacity. That's what I want to see. But New York is not going to allow that if our numbers keep going up. We reached out to the governor's office to ask specifics on what realistically could lead to rollbacks on reopening. And we haven't gotten a response yet. In the meantime, Dr. Russo says heading into a holiday weekend, we should continue to be vigilant. Since we haven't been doing as well the last two weeks as we were for most of the summer, what that means from a functional point of view is that if you have a gathering with people outside of your social bubble, the likelihood that someone uh, that comes to your party that is infectious is much, much greater now than it was a couple of weeks ago. Jackie Roberts, Channel 2 News.